Jeez, that's really hard. Um, I guess I can't pick just one because there are so many. Um, you know, he enjoyed being outside, being in nature. Uh, we both did. So something that um, we recently did, which was uh, actually kind of funny, I think we went to uh, Caswell State Park. I think we might have gone in April of last year. And uh, the mosquitoes actually attacked us and ran us out of the park. He had on his jacket, he had pulled up his socks. I mean, the mosquitoes were like biting him through the jacket, through his shirt. It was horrible. And so we were trying to figure out like, should we turn around and go back or should we go forward? Like, you know, how far are we from the end of the trail? Or, you know, are we closer to the car if we go this way or are we closer if we go that way? So that was actually um, pretty funny. Um, we discovered that uh, we should always uh, definitely bring bug repellent with us <laughs> when we go out for our little adventures like that. Um, and then we went to Mama Weber's barbecue, so that was good for the school to prison pipeline. I know that that was near and dear to his heart, and it is really um, important that that work continue because, you know, it's typically our black and brown children who are the discipline problems, who are uh, missing out on learning time, being taken out of the classroom, being suspended, sent to the office, you know, just missing out. And it's kind of like it's a snowball, you know, and it starts in the um, elementary grades, you know, third, fourth grade. You're sending this student out, you know, he, they kind of develop that reputation among their peers as, you know, there's something wrong with them and they're missing out on the learning time. They fall behind uh, academically. And, you know, sometimes it just really turns into that snowball where they don't catch up or they um, are embarrassed because, you know, they're not learning as they should be because they're not having that time in class consistently like they should. Because Brandon's always, you know, happy, go lucky, friendly. Um, he never meets a stranger. Uh, he's easy to get along with, easy to talk to. People just gravitate towards him. But I can say, you know, being mom, that his experiences in the school district really impacted his um, confidence and his self-esteem. You know, so I was his biggest cheerleader, always um, letting him know, you know, just how how smart, you know, capable and intelligent he was to counter all of that negative stuff that he experienced and heard. Okay, so you can see that I, where Brandon gets all his talking from, probably. Um, <laughs> But what I would tell him is, look at the big picture. You have these young men who are um, sometimes engaged in illegal activities, right? Um, their, their goal is to get money, get money, get money, uh, because they want to buy, you know, the, the latest pair of tennis shoes or, you know, a $300 belt. They want to have these name brand items, right? Clothing items. Um, you know, they want to have that power. They want that recognition. Uh, sometimes I think they think they're actually famous. I'm like, well, yeah, maybe on your block, but you know, there's a whole wide world out there. So maybe they know you. I don't know who you are. Um, and I tell, I would tell them, I'm like, look at how they're living, right? So if you were out there hustling, then why are you living in this one bedroom apartment? You still don't have a car. You still calling people for rides. You know, is that really a Michael Kors belt? No, I think that's probably counterfeit, right? Uh, I don't even think you've ever set foot in a Michael Kors store, but you know, you're out there uh, perpetrating, um, fronting, you know, like this is who you are, glorifying, um, you know, drugs, violence, and, 
I'm like, you're playing into, you know, the, this game, and you're being, really, you're being used as a pawn, okay? Because where are you gonna wind up at the end of this, right? You already don't have anything, right? So you have your little hundred dollars, what your your what are it, blue strips laid out or blue stripes or whatever you call them laid out, right? And you might have, um, you know, I don't know, maybe a thousand dollars, okay? And it seems like a lot of money. Well, what I did is I went to college and got an education so that I could get my money and I don't ever have to look over my back, look over, look over my shoulder, wondering who's looking for me, who's coming for me. I get to spend my money how I want to spend my money and I know that there's more of it coming and I have normal hours, right? I'm not up at three o'clock in the morning at the trap house or wherever else, you know, these individuals are. Where is this lifestyle going to get you? Think about, um, being true to yourself, right? Being authentic. I think that sometimes these young men get caught up in this lifestyle and this culture. Some of them I don't think even really want to be a part of it. They want to be a part of something. Um, and, and this is what's available to them, right? But if they had a choice to do something else, if there was somebody else there to direct them, guide them down a different path, that might actually be the path that they want to choose. But you know, I know that there are, it's not always um, about having um, equal opportunities. Sometimes it's about the um, access, right, to these opportunities. I would, hmm, I would like to say um, thank you. You know, I, I don't know you, but Thank you. Um, I've received um, a lot of support uh, during this time, which you know is still every day. It's a, it's a struggle, you know. I'm hoping that eventually there will be some good days. And right now, it's just like trying to get through each and every day. Um, I know that Brandon is uh, smiling down. On us. Um, I know that he appreciates the individuals and um, groups that have reached out to me, to our family, um, and I just want to uh, say thank you and encourage people to continue in this work, continue with the movement. Um, something I used to say to Brandon when he was still in high school and I would drop them off to school every morning is have a good day and make good choices, right? Make good choices. You can make the choices, but you can't choose the consequences.